So I'm a big fan of reading on the Kindle. I love having all my books in one place, easy to carry around, uh, not to mention the highlighting feature. I use the highlights a lot. And I've done other videos and posts about that. But recently, I've had to start reading a handful of physical books. I'm doing Seth Godin's Alt-MBA next month, and they sent a pile of physical books. And I had to figure out how I wanted to take notes in that um, on the fly in a way that still worked without adding too much to my workload. And I figured there were really three ways I could do that. One, I could use a physical highlighter and just highlight in the book as I go. Uh, the downsides there are, one, that it's permanent. I'm kind of ruining a book that I may want to give to someone else. But more importantly, it's harder than find the highlights. I'd have to literally flip through every page afterward to find the highlights. I guess along those lines, I could just kind of type into Rome as I go, but that didn't seem real feasible either. Another option was to use Readwise, their app. You can pull out their app and take a picture of a page and highlight text on there and stuff, but that felt like it would disrupt my flow too much. I'd be in the middle of reading something and then to get my phone out and snap it and highlight just seemed to be a little awkward, I guess. So I ended up going with just some tabs. And so I have thanks for the feedback and I have little tabs I put you know, as I read. Whenever I found something interesting, I just put a little tab, has the arrows in it. So I could just put an arrow on the highlight I found and that worked well. Then after I was done, the downside with the tabs, of course, I still have to go through and manually type the highlights in, but that's okay. I want to, these are things I want to remember. So having to type them again is a good way to start learning it and get it into Rome. So you can see in Rome here, I have thanks for the feedback, the book I just finished. Um, it has a number of things in here. You can see at the bottom, um, all the times I read it, I kind of mention it each day as I'm reading it. So in January 17th, it was a Sunday. You know, I published a blog post, was on the treadmill, continued reading, thanks for the feedback. Just kind of nice to see when I read it. Um, also kind of gets into the interstitial journaling idea. But in here, what I did is I had my normal info about the book, then I dropped in my highlights. So I went through my little colored tabs and transcribed the pieces I needed, reworded some, you know, uh, indented some pieces as needed, uh, marked some you know, pe pages and tags and that kind of stuff, uh, marked some as blog ideas, we can talk about that in a second, and just kind of went through and put all my notes in. And then what I always do is I go to Goodreads and find the highlights in there too, because other people, if a lot of people have highlighted something else, I may want to take note of that. So on Goodreads and any page you're on, any, any book, so here we are on Thanks for the Feedback, down lower right, typically, if it's a popular enough book, you'll have the highlights. And so uh, where are we going here? Here's some, some quotes. And so there's two right here, but we can click more quotes to see all the quotes. So if we click on that, we'll get a page that shows lots of quotes from the book and the number of likes. It's sorted by the number of likes. And so I didn't highlight too many. They didn't see, they, they got into pretty long quotes. I wanted more snippets, but I still grabbed a few from here. And so I put all that here in Rome. So I have all my highlights that I marked up. And again, we'll work my way through further. And then I have the highlights from Goodreads where I pulled in some of those. And again, not as many as I often would. I usually pull in perhaps a dozen or so from Goodreads, but I literally just copy and paste in from Goodreads. And I have to clean it up a little bit. It pulls in some some metadata and stuff I don't need, but it works pretty well. And then the last piece of this doesn't directly apply to the highlights, but you did know what I put blog ideas. So these are things I may want to expand out into further blog posts. I may or may not, but we'll see. So I tag them blog ideas and I keep blog ideas on the side, on the sidebar here in Rome all the time. So if I click on that, I can see all my blog ideas. Now you'll notice it says six of 101 linked references because these are ones that are open. Uh, if I were to go through here, I can see the ones that are published or drafted don't show up in here. So if I uncheck published and then expand this back out, now there's 84 of them in here and you can kind of see what it looks like. But a full blog idea that I work out um, looks more like this. So Seth Godin doesn't tweet. Um, I have some ideas that I put in here on why and, and kind of built my post over in WordPress. And then when I published it, I pulled the full content back in here. I took copied from WordPress and just kept a copy of my full content. And I have a, a blog post that talks more about why I do that and the advantages I see. I'll link that in the description so you can check it out. But it really works well to do that. So I can just come to blog ideas at some point when I need some more. And actually, I'll re refilter the published back out. So shift click to make anything that has the published tag removed. So now I'm back just down to these six. So there's the four ideas from thanks for the feedback, another one from your best got better, and then just a random idea about talking about signal, you know, the messaging app and what people might want to use that. So from here, I'll build perhaps some of these out in a blog post and work well. But my first try with the sticky notes has, has gone pretty well. And I've got a handful more books I need to work on with that. Uh, so hopefully that works. But if you have better ideas for highlighting in physical books, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So uh, leave a comment and share with us. Thanks.